Hello, this is Rohan Shah. If you're unsure what exponential functions are, please look at the previous video. In this video, we'll look at a bunch of examples. So let's start with this one. Let's say that the university's tuition was $5,000 initially, and that increases by 34% a year. What does this mean? Well, it means that you'll never see any of that money back. But it also means that the initial value, meaning B, is 5,000, and that the rate of increase is 34%, which makes A 1.34. So this question is really simple, and the answer to this is simply this. This is how we will model the situation. Now let's take a, a more involved example. What if these two points are on a graph? What would the exponential function be? Notice that there can only be one exponential function that has both of these points on it. So the trick to these is to plug them into this. So if we plug in 3 comma 4 into y equals ba to the x, then we get 4 equals ba cube. And this one gives us 9 equals ba to the 6th power. Now we have two equations and two variables that we want to solve for, b and a, and so we can use them to do that. Really quickly now, uh, the way we would solve this is we would solve for b initially. So here, b is 4 over a cubed. Plugging this into this, we get 9 equals, now instead of b, we're having 4 over a cubed, times a to the sixth. So here now, 9 will equal, as we can see, the a's will cancel, 4a cubed. From here, you can just pull out a calculator, compute what a is, and then use that to compute what b is, and that will be your exponential function. You can just plug the b and the a into y equals max, and that will give you the model that has these two points in it. Well, now let's take a look at this problem over here. The coffee's temperature is initially 92 degrees, it decreases by 2% a minute, and the room's temperature is 67 degrees. Now, your initial thought might be, let's just say y equals 92 times 0.98 to the x. This seems to fit with what we've learned so far. This shows that it's decreasing by 2%, and this shows that the initial value was 92. The only problem is, as x goes up to infinity, y will go down to 0. But we want the eventual temperature to be 67 degrees, not 0 degrees. How do we get around this? Well, we notice that the temperature goes down by 25 degrees, from 92 to 67. We basically want our graph to look like that. So the equation for that would be y equals 25, times 0.98 to the x. All we have to do now is shift this by 67 units up, and it will now look like this. It will eventually go up to 67 degrees and be at 92 in the beginning. So the final equation for this problem will be y equals 25.98 to the x plus 67. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy the rest of them.